Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. Uh, here we are going to show a special feature inside of Premiere Pro that's important to know about. I'm going to go to one of the uh, basic setup features here. I'm going to go under Edit, and I'm going to go down to Preferences, and I'm going to hit Timeline. And under Timeline in the General Preferences here, I'm going to see this little thing right here called Timeline Playback Auto Scrolling. And you have a, a few different features here. You have null scroll, page scroll, and smooth scroll. Let's show the difference between that. And each one of these features uh, deals with uh, the playhead when it gets it's the end of the timeline and how it deals with scrolling to the next portion of video here. If I hit OK, and we're on no scroll, and we press play. My dear Lady Disdain, are you yet living? Is it possible to... When it hits the end of the timeline here... Is it possible Disdain should die while she has such meat food to feed it? Ask you'll notice it does not update, it just keeps on playing and it leaves it on the same frame until you press pause and then it catches up with the timeline. And that is the no scroll option. If we go into preferences and go to timeline and we change it to the page scroll and we hit OK. Next I'm just going to mute the audio here. And now as we play, watch what happens when the playhead hits the end of this uh, visual timeline. It's not the end of the timeline, there's video beyond that, but watch how it updates. Once it hits the end, it moves your timeline over and starts over here, and then the playhead will hit the end here and go back and keep playing through the, the entire timeline, through the entire timeline with the playhead going from the beginning of the visual here to the end of the visual, and then it will move on to the next section of your timeline and start playing it from the beginning to the end of that. Now the one that I kind of prefer is in a timeline, the one I usually leave it on that I like, and this is just my preference, is smooth scroll. Watch what happens as we do a smooth scroll. Wherever your playhead is, and when we press play here, it's not going to ever. The playhead's never going to reach the end of the visual here. It's going to move the. It's going to animate this timeline past as it's playing. So watch this as I play, and it will move the timeline along as the playhead just stays locked in the middle. So that's the one I prefer. And a couple of little quick things on your timeline here, if you're going to uh, navigate navigate quickly in your timeline, is on top of your keyboard you hit, and this is not on the numpad. It's on the very top of your keyboard. You hit plus minus and then the backward slash key above the enter key or the return key. So what happens if you press plus is it zooms up to your timeline. If you hit minus, it zooms out. And if you hit the slash above the enter or return key, it shows your entire timeline. It zooms it into your, your entire timeline. And that's just a quick little feature, quick little tip on the, the page scroll function inside of Premiere Pro.